day one of Euro auctions, day, day one of four sale days at Euro auctions. Um, simply stunned how they find five and a half thousand items of machinery every four to five, six weeks. Colossal. If you, you've got to see it to believe it, really. But anyway, we're here shopping. We've also got quite a bit of machinery entered into this auction today as well. Um, hopefully it will sell really well. Um, but uh, yeah, they start selling in 11 minutes time. And when you auction, when new auction say they start selling at eight o'clock in the morning, they start selling at eight o'clock in the morning. So let's go. It's like being in a sweet shop, isn't it? All this stuff's for sale. What did you buy? You only don't kind of buy the stuff you put in here, but that's not allowed. But <laughs> everything that you think of is here. And it will sell. Everything here will sell. Here we have a slightly burnt out loading shovel. Not only is it a burnt out loading shovel, it's a burnt out loading shovel with no engine. Just shows you, I mean, that's cost money to bring here on a lorry, you know, and I know that it's going to be moved away again. So it's, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing what's here. Michael's seen some boobs. You've seen some boobs, haven't you? Around, you've seen some boobs, haven't you? The picture of a young lady wearing maybe not a lot. I'm not quite sure why anybody would put that on a Lindy fork truck. But there is probably five or six hundred excavators here at Euros. If you want to ride big diggers, they don't go much bigger here at Euros than the 50 odd ton high Axis. So, what a machine. A bit too big for a low load though, but yeah, we find something smaller. Now for all the men out there, who really don't know what to get their loved one for Valentine's Day, what about a pink excavator? Pink. As we walked around Euro auctions, okay, Right. we found fire engines. We've seen them before. Yeah. This one actually carries a very apt message for young Harvey's mummy. Right? Who well, I too believe had to call the fire brigade out last week because the oven got a bit hot. So, the important message to Harvey's mummy. Turn your cooker off. <laughs> Wilf's already got a girlfriend. Wilf want another one. He's got two already. Wilf needs more friends. <laughs> he would like a pink one. We're going on a walk around your auctions. So we're going to try and find some different items, perhaps that you don't normally see at auction. And this is the first thing we've come across. It's an amphibious car of some description. It's almost like a Jeremy Clarkson adaption or whatever, but it's quite cool. But we were underneath boat. I know nothing about boats. It actually looks a bit of fun, really, doesn't it? The rear propulsion system. It just looks quite cool, really. Um, we'll look up later on and we'll see what it makes. The amount of walking I do, I should be half the size that I am. What you have to look at these things in, in awe, really, I think. Massive Virgin 135 factor. Probably 50, 50 odd years old. 50, no, probably more 60 years old. I don't know where this was made. They did use to make a lot of them in, in um, Banner Lane in Coventry. Very popular tractor at its time. Massively popular tractor at its time. It's been to China or the Far East. It's got writing down the bike there in, in Chinese or the Far I don't understand that language. So it's been, been away. It's working life. And it's now back at Leeds in the auction. So. Amazing, and I wonder where his next um, journey or adventure in the world will be. So, if the Hitachi is actually 520 is too big, what about Micro Digger? Strange thing is, these probably make the same money they did when they were sold brand new. These are tractors that bring back my youth, me being 54 years old. Um, we've had case tractors, I remember when these tractors came out. Um, the original ones were David Brown. Uh, and when that cab Explorer cab came out, it was luxury. It really was luxury. This is here at the auction today. It's a two wheel drive Pace 1494. Um, it claims to be a commemorative edition. 
obviously, I don't know how authentic that is, but could, well, could be. Um, it looks a very straight tractor um, as you approach it. Um, a lot of the cab interior um, isn't quite so neat tidy. Now this certainly brings back memories of my youth. Um, and then it's time, this tractor seemed quite big. Now, um, here's a question for you. Will it start? It won't start, but be interesting to see what this tractor makes, won't it? Um, it needs a little bit of TLC, it needs some finishing off. Um, the clock says it's got 3,700 hours on the clock. Again, not, no, no one could be able to verify that. But um, yeah, it certainly brings back some memories of my youth when we had these tractors. I say, in the day, they actually seemed quite big. I'm not a county expert by any means. Um, this is certainly an unfamiliar model that I haven't seen before. Particularly fitted with, with a front end loader. Um, certainly built, strong and well built loader. Um, Okay, then add a, a cab. You know, we also have the Duncan cabs. Um, flat, flat deck cab tractor. I think the tractor would have been in a very industrial application all of its life. Um, no link arms fitted, but the, the, the bits at the top there full link arms. Um, my suspicion is it had a um, heavy weight on the rear for uh, either pushing or whatever. But um, yeah, quite well. Not something I'm familiar with. Um, but we'll watch it go through the auction later on and we will um, put the prices up what it made. Come across here, four Massey Ferguson 240 tractors. Now, the 240 tractor in the UK has been around a long time, um, often used on small farms. Um, now, these tractors are in very, very tidy order and looking at the plate on the, on the dashboard, actually made in Pakistan. So, they have been shipped from Pakistan to um, Yorkshire to go through the auction. Um, they look very similar. Um, I think the early ones had AD152 engines, although I may be mistaken. And maybe someone, if I've got that wrong, please put in the comments below. Um, but they look very smart. They look, they look very smart and very clean tractors. Manufactured or they are brand new, I'm not sure, but um, they do look quite smart. Children here from all over the world. This is a Maruka track tractor. I'm guessing it's coming from the Far East, somewhere whether it's Asia, China, I'm not exactly sure. Um, certainly a, a cooler tractor with a difference. Probably made for small people. I don't think the Far East. The, the, <laughs> it doesn't look very comfortable. Actually, <laughs> that looks a bit That's close to true. sensitive areas. The Ford reverse levers on there have actually reached me intrusive. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine young Tim driving one of these all day? I'm not sure he'd get between there, would he? You've got to be honest, I'm more of a 560 80 <laughs> sort of fella. Now, getting in was one thing. This may make really good television. <laughs> it may not. <laughs> made that look easy. Just a very small version of his big brother. Running around, uh, very popular tractor locally. This tractor's been, been sitting around for a while. 
Still at Euros. A bit of follow on from Tim's video with the Manitou. I have to say, the cab actually looks quite dinky. But now, you, you, we've got to try it, Tim. Tim is now going to try the cab. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just found a very nice JCB. And uh, let's just show you that. A very compact JCB load all. High vis, nice machine, very nice machine, very good order. It is for sale here at Euros. But what we do believe is the cab is a lot wider. So I'm going to get it in myself. I have to say that the cab is far wider than the Manitou. Engines, truck engines. How many do you want? thing is they will all sell every single engine here will sell god knows where they'll end up all over the world but it's it's colossal absolutely colossal what's here and i think the bit that you sort of it's hard to get your head around is that in six weeks or seven weeks time whatever five six weeks time whatever this will be here again there'll be another lot going under the hammer again um, it really is quite spectacular um, what goes on I think this, the site here is something in the region of about 80 acres and it's full um, as we come over to here digger buckets probably every conceivable bucket size that could be is probably here there's nothing here from mini digger buckets, buckets here from 13 ton excavators. Then you come against this one. Now to give you some idea of the size of this bucket, I'm six foot four tall, and it's as big as I am. In height, in height. Going to wish you had club. They're going to wish you had bought that. Nine here now, eight fifty now. Did the bigger nine, 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 eight fifty now, nine. I'm going to take that as a no, 850. 89.67. And next up here, guys, going to be 48.23. Guys, take a look here. Wacker, new soft power float there, guys. Eight, eight, seven, eight, 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 five, eight, five, here, now, here, now. One thing I will say, the fact that where we've been doing this job for 30 odd years, we've certainly made a lot of friends and a lot of associates in the business. Um, Paul there, the bid catch you just saw there absolutely um brilliant gentleman um and it does make the job so much more enjoyable to come here and and, and work with these people um yeah makes make, make the day um a lot a lot more enjoyable but yeah so as we look around here at auctions it's a colossal amount of stuff here it, it, it really is